Hello, um, welcome to Rat in the Maze vlog. I think it's number seven or eight now, I can't remember the third. But, um, yeah, so we've made some pretty good progress in the last uh, four days to a week or something like that, whatever it's been, for a week or so. Um, so, we've got the first things first, you've got a new team member who's working on the coding and scripting elements of the game which has been very useful. It's Liz and she just joined about two or three days ago on the project. Um it's a general update then apart from that, that's that's brilliant. Um general update apart from that. Uh I've doing a lot of level designs, tweaking, trying to get the aesthetic style down a bit more. Doing playing with lighting effects and generally just um, trying to get that aesthetic style nailed for the level design, I guess. Um, next part to think about with that, I guess, is thinking about challenges, environmental challenges, and things like that will come later. Ryan, who's our 3D modeler, has been doing a lot of good, really good work on the modeling side of things. He's done so he's done a, a baton, which I'll link to the video of that being animated on his computer in a second and then also he's been working on some other models like cage, cheat, lumps of cheese, like sewage uh, grates and stuff like that so Ryan's been doing some really good work in that respect um, like I said Liz has got the control system working now she just did, got that working on yesterday I think it was Saturday she got that working so it's been brilliant so you can move around to the game now collision detection seems to be working as well which is good um, so I was been doing a bit of tweaking this morning to make sure that walls and um, the different physical objects in the game have their collision detection settings working correctly. It's, and on the little test map that we've got so far, it seems to be working all right, which is brilliant. Um, so, I've, and then also in general, I've just got stuff, more stuff to on paper in terms of how the game mechanics are going to work, some kind of brainstorming documents which I put together which show kind of the, how my thoughts are working branching out in terms of like the game features the game mechanics uh, so I guess I'll talk about a little bit more about that because I've got a few more minutes I guess um, so I was thinking um, of making this more of a 3D stealth game in the vein of the classic PC titles like FIFA and etc where you're actually rewarded or even something like Metal Gear Solid I guess where you're rewarded for using stealth as opposed to just brute, brute physical force um, so I want to uh, I think the next thing is really challenges really we're going to have facing the development process is A getting some kind of basic combat system working weapon system and maybe an inventory system as well and then also figuring out ways of how we can incorporate an aspect of um, using sound in some respect. So, for example, I'd like it so that if the player the player can pick up objects, throw them, and use them as distraction techniques for on guards, basically. Uh, obviously, the other thing we have to work on is the artificial intelligence pathways and such for the guards. So they're gonna have the way I've figured it is they're gonna to have to have a path that they stick to as in like when they're guarding an area but then also they're gonna to have to have a routine so that they can set off an alarm for some description if the player's detected also uh, some kind of script for calling other guards to them if they um, if they detect the player and uh, just stuff like that. So that's more detailed stuff which we can get into later I guess. But yeah, it's going pretty well. I mean I'm happy with that. how everything's going on and starting to come together a bit more and starting to turn into something that's you know, actually looking more like a game, so that's good. So yeah. Till next time.